Happening today, the Pennsylvania House is set to reconvene for its 2023 session. This comes after nearly two months of stalled government. Political experts say current House Speaker Mark Brazi has made it clear that he does not want the House to consider any legislation until it passes a measure regarding child sexual abuse. He recessed the House in late January after losing Republican support. Fox 43 Sire Williams is live in Harrisburg with the details. Good morning, Sire. Good morning. So lawmakers will come together today this week to vote on two measures to help childhood sex abusers seek justice uh, from or childhood sex uh, survivors seek justice from their abusers, both in law and constitution. Now, that includes what many say Democratic House Speaker Mark Rossi's top priority, a two year window which would allow victims to file civil lawsuits against their abusers outside the statute of limitations. Survivors have lobbied the General Assembly to pass this measure as victims continue to work through their abuse as adults. Rozzi, who is also a victim of childhood sex abuse himself, has been pushing for this special session. This week, lawmakers will be voting on two bills, one that would propose an amendment to the state constitution and one that would change the state law. Both of these actions would create that two-year window. The two parties have been in stalemate with Rozzi losing Republican support. I look forward to returning the House to session on February 21st and immediately adopting operating rules and beginning the process of getting both the constitutional amendment and the statutory window to justice through the House. Unfortunately, partisan bickering and the inability to agree on the most basic operations of the House stalled this effort. Speaker claims he's trying to break gridlock in Harrisburg. Unfortunately, I think he's the creation of it. Now, Rossi says he will not pass any other legislation until this adult childhood sexual abuse amendment is made, which may also cause Rossi to lose Democratic support for his speakership, with many signaling that they will back their original choice, Democratic leader Joanna McKenton. Now, if the House passes the amendment, the Senate will have until next week to convene a special session in order for it to be on the ballot this November. We will keep you updated online and on air as details come out of this special session. But for now, in Harrisburg, Sayera Williams, Fox 43 News.